Like as soon as these doors open up, baby. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? I know it's been a while, but I've seen your face. It's been a hot minute. Oh my gosh, I am back. So I'm not gonna bore you with the reasons why I haven't been here. Let's just say I had a nice epiphany. Epiphany? I'm on this journey. I'm really trying to limit my social media usage. So I completely went offline for about three months. And let me tell you, oh girl, let me tell you babes, it was glorious. So I definitely want to enter the year with some positivity. So there's a few things. Let's catch up. Happy New Year, because I miss that. So if it's your first time to the channel, you know what to do. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that way you know exactly when these videos are coming out. And also don't forget to join our Instagram and Facebook Babe Squad because we're still there. We're still here. And of course, it is nice to see you. Oh my gosh, I missed you. So I wanted to start 2021 because, you know, I think it, it makes sense to, to be positive regardless of the fact that we are shut down until February 10th, I think. But that doesn't mean that we can still like try to be as normal as we possibly can while protecting each other. Let's have a little fun today. I'm going to be doing a Fashion Nova haul. I bought these clothes thinking that eventually we'd have somewhere to go. Billy me, I know. It's a pan, it's a whole pandemic. So I ended up with a bunch of clothes that, I mean, I wear around the house sometimes when I'm trying to look, you know, a little shishy smashy. But this is gonna be like my first Fashion Nova haul. But it's also gonna be a video about why I think I may be done with fast fashion but first let's get into the outfits okay babe so let's get started on the fashion of a haul so i may be reconsidering fast fashion after this but doesn't mean that you might necessarily i understand the convenience there's a lot of convenience with fast fashion there's a lot of it's affordable it's a little bit more affordable although lately fashion over price has been going a little up and the quality ain't been you know Okay, so I'm just letting y'all know if you do hear yelling in the background, it is my husband watching Tom Brady and the Buccaneers go against the Green Bay Packers. First piece that I've gotten is this um, like kind of like faux leather leggings. And at first, I, I, and I'll, I'll post a picture here in this side, but on the models, see that's the thing about Fashion Nova, on the, on the models it always looks like really high quality and super high quality. Let me show you what happened when I first got it. This little piece right here, you see where the tag is? I don't know if you can see that. So this little piece is supposed to actually be folded in. It's not really sewn in properly. This part is supposed to be sewed down and folded in so that way you don't see the tag but unfortunately it looks like fashion nova can be hit or miss sometimes it's hit or miss but i also got this from fashion nova as well it's it's just kind of like a crop top kind of sweater kind of deal the thing about this not being a sponsored video is you're going to get my actual opinion on these clothes and exactly how they wore but then again you can't really expect much when you're talking about fast fashion so the whole point of fast fashion is that it you know you wear it for a night out and maybe a couple nights out and then it kind of done from there so we'll see let's see how it goes okay so this is it so it's a little crappy it's used my quarantine i've been added like quarantine like 10 pounds <laughs> y'all get so old that hurt my ankle so it looks nice like if i were to wear it like this with my like nice little sweater if i wanted to wear it out in the winter time and then i wear it with my favorite boots so you can see that the only thing about it is you kind of have to hide this part because again they didn't sew the seam down properly so this little piece with the tag is going to come up so you're going to see that regardless and as you can see here there's no rips or anything like that so i didn't rip it this is exactly how it came so i'm not too happy um if you're like me i have broad shoulders as you can see it kind of kind of emphasizes my broad shoulders but i still like wearing it anyway regardless comfortable so it is comfortable it is warm but I don't mind it, you know? I don't mind it. Well, I'm trying to make sure y'all can see it. Now this outfit. <laughs> so again, for all my girls out there that have really broad shoulders, 
hopefully this helps. Here's one of my, I know I said I was gonna start from least to least favorite to favorite outfit. So this is actually another winter outfit. It is a crop hoodie, kind of sweatsh, well, not sweatshirt, but it's like a cropped hoodie. So I'll tell you a couple problems with this one. So one, um, I bought it in a medium, but as you can see, because, so here's a couple things up with me is I have broad shoulders and I have long arms. So as you can see, this part right here, this part is supposed to be up here. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think I got my size. So let's just be honest about that. This was like, at some point priced at $40. I have no idea why. Because the material is really super thin. Very, very, very thin. So like, is it warm to wear and lounge around the house? Yes. Like if you just want something to lounge around the house, you don't really care about taking it anywhere, I'd say this is okay. But in terms of something that's actually like a nice, comfortable, like hoodie outfit, I wouldn't necessarily do that because I was actually kind of shocked. You can kind of see my pocket here and everything. Maybe the lighting is drowning it out, but it is very see-through, which I find very shocking. My next outfit, actually, there's a couple outfits that I actually like. Um, yeah, I actually really like this. Now, the material itself, you can kind of hear it. You can kind of hear the material. So it's that, what type of material is this? It says spandex. It says 3% spandex, 74% rayon, 23% nylon, which the website does say, right? So initially my husband talked me into um, getting a size small in this outfit and it ended up being too small and it wasn't stretchy material and you know, sister got a... But so I actually went and just got another one in large because I actually do like this outfit. Layer it up. Like I said, you would layer this up. Let's try this on. Let me quit talking. I'm done talking now. Okay. So y'all don't judge me because, please don't judge me. I don't have a proper bra right now. Actually, do I have a proper bra? Okay, I lied. I don't have a proper bra. Okay, so. But as you can see, this is a really nice go out kind of outfit. Um, the only thing about it is this is actually a large and I don't feel like it's very stretchy. But the benefit to it not being super stretchy is like, I like how it kind of holds in my mid midsection here. So I can still show a little bit of skin, but still show a little bit of skin, but you know, it's still kind of like stuck in it. Still kind of like stuck in it a little bit. But I plan on being able to fit this a little bit better because I will be going into cutting soon. So fingers crossed, my goal is to get down to 165 pounds of lean muscle. But this is cute, like I like it. I'll show you the fashion of the model here. This is her. It don't necessarily look like that on me because you know, obviously, I don't have the same shape. But <laughs> but I actually really enjoy this outfit. Like I I, I would totally wear this out or um, just you know just to feel sachet around the house. Okay, you know what? I initially didn't know if I thought like I didn't know if this was my favorite, and I think this is my favorite. This one is like absolutely my favorite. Like, I am ready. Like as soon as these doors open up, baby. Um, I actually was able to get away with the small in this one because it is stretchy material. So for all my curvy babes out there that got the, you know, got the, got the going on, you know what I'm saying? Um, this actually still works as a small. So actually, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. Like, I, I really like it. Um, my main thing, the reason why I like it is because it looks so classy. Like, I think it looks very, it's like a nice mixture of sexy and sma and smashy. I was going to say smashy. The only thing that is a drawback with this is if you are curvy, this, this thing. Comment below if you have any tips and tricks for slits that are this far up and you got a booty this big because, to be honest, Ain't no bending down happening in this. Ain't no bending down happening in this. But I'm about to put on the other one just for y'all, just because even though this is now my favorite, I just can't wear it nowhere <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, so this is the last outfit. Y'all, I'm sweating from changing clothes. Okay, so this one, I like the blue one better. Um, ignore me, y'all, I don't have the right bra on. 
I don't know if it would be really great to wear in the winter time, but I like it. Um, I got away with the small, um, just because again, broad shoulders. I like to share. I work. Um, I like to show off my shoulders because they are broad. So again, if you are someone who is that has like broad shoulders, this would actually be really nice to wear. Dina, what do you need? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> For like Christmas time and just kind of like you know family time something to wear around the house so I didn't really intend this to be worn out per se is if that makes sense so I didn't really wear this out or I didn't really try to wear this out um, it would look better if I had a nicer bra on but you know you take what you can get so that's it for today babes I hope you enjoyed um, I will actually post everything below so that way if you did want to try on any of the outfits that you see today or you wanted to buy any of them that you could make sure you comment below and let me know exactly what your favorite outfit was i told you i was going to tell you why i am reconsidering fast fashion brands um like fashion nova because i brought i find that when you go for fast fashion and it's not the bastard company or anything like that but i find that it's more hyped than the quality it's more hype than it should be so like because of all these celebrity endorsements and because of all these collaborations, um, Fashion Nova kind of has justified the being able to hike up the prices for certain items. But I find that sometimes when I order, it's kind of hit or miss. And for somebody like me who's ordering in Canada, um, I have to pay duties on top of the exchange rate. So it just no longer seems worth it. So for me to kind of get like a crapshoot, and especially because you're buying it online. Now, with that said, I know what y'all are going to say. I know what you guys are going to comment below. You're going to be like, well, it does say the materials are on the website. I don't know about you, but if I see something that says nylon on there, I mean, I could Google it, right? But I don't really understand how the fabric itself, especially without me being able to try it on, I don't really understand how the fabric is going to work with my body and fit on my body and how long it's going to last when I decide to wash it. So that's just the only thing with me is that it is a brand that yes in its own right it has celebrity deals and endorsements and collaborations so by all means get your coins fashion and we get your coins but at the same time for me as a consumer especially a consumer that lives outside of the united states it just doesn't seem very worth it now with that being said fashion nova jeans are worth it because of the fact that it does cater to a very specific demographic which is curvy girls girls who have curves um so it does cater to that demographic so i find that their jeans as long as i get the little like the ones that are a little bit more expensive i find that those ones are actually really really good quality and i've never been disappointed with their jeans and i do think it is worth it for those jeans because if you're a girl like me small waist big behind it is hard to find jeans <laughs> so <laughs> So that's it for me, babes. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about Fashion Nova too. Um, and there's also a little controversy about like kind of how they receive their, how their clothes are made and things like that. So if you heard about anything like that, comment below. I love this channel to be something that where we can all collaborate and talk and communicate and respectfully talk and debate and whatever please on your way out do not forget to hit that subscribe button Ooh. and that notification bell so that way you know exactly when these videos come out and then please 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 become a part of the babe squad on instagram and facebook and babes make sure that you hit that pretty on me apparel store on pretty support a sister support a sister in your clothing line Don't, don't forget to tune in on Fridays for all day reminders that you slay. Tune in on Fridays for all day reminders that you slay every single which way. And I'll see you babes in the next video. Mwah.